Hey, 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 check this out, huh? That's right, it's the Elks Club. That's Gary Brown, the OC car guy. And look at this Merc that just is pulling in right now. How awesome is that? It's Friday night here at the Elks Club. We're gonna do a little walkthrough. But look how pretty awesome this is right here. Look at that. How cool. Look at that, huh? What a way to start off Gary's yeah. classic car show at the Elks. Hey, but you just can't eat one. <laughs> here we are, the Elks Club, the Dano Vans here. Oh. oh, hooligan, is that Ron? You gotta say, you gotta get all you hooligans, gotta say hi to Mitch this time. Oh, we'll do that. Yeah. Because I, I don't know if he's seen the other one from the other night, but oh, yeah. we'll have to. Uh, Send up another one. I'm a mean person. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, Ron, you know, you know Tammy? No, I don't. Tammy, my girlfriend, this is Ron. He's got the truck down there, and his brother's got the 34. You know it says Ron on the door. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Take my glasses off. Hey, hey, like that, like that one, huh? That's nice sharp. Huh? Yeah. Here, 55, that's a double nickel. A double nickel, huh? The rest of me red. How about that? And you got Willie's. Then we have the two luckiest people. And all of the raffles right here. This is my girl Tammy. Hi. <laughs> she decided to come out and see what I do. <laughs> she never watches the videos, no. <laughs> yeah, 56, 57, like a 41, and a Pinto. I don't know, it's been like that for a while. I need to go get checked out. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know. It won't. It won't heal. Yeah. And check it out. It's Ron's car, or Don's car. It's Ron's car. And these are the hooligans back there. Hello, What's up? Hey, yeah. Mitch, Mitch says hey. He wants to say hey to the hooligans, huh? Chevy, it's in oh, garage. yeah, a lot of good is in his garage, it, huh? It, it placed second place friend. in his garage show. The it's... lawnmower one does the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh well. Maybe one day we can get him down here from Washington, huh? Yeah, hopefully. Gary, yeah. you want a, a picture of the hooligans later on? Yeah, okay. yeah. We want, we'll we want you guys to do a, like, say say hi to Mitch in Washington. Oh, we just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more hooligans than you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're looking at a Merc. Yeah. I know that Merc came in and stole the show, huh? Uh, yeah, let's see here. Look at this, huh? I like this flatty. 32 yellow block. Huh? Is that pretty cool? Yeah, 1932. Nice leather seat. Two pedals. Hmm, you know what that means. Ah, a hot rod in my book. Back ends of the 56 and 57. Here we got the 62 twice antennas. Pala SS, uh, C10 truck, two C10 trucks, and look at this, huh, another 32 in yellow with flames, and get that, how nestled in that dart two motor is, fits right in it like it was made for it, yeah. we got buckets in this one, yeah, tilt wheel, not cool, not cool then, Look at the other 
pool again right here. We got a five window. That's pretty nice, huh? Five window. He's he's won awards here. It's a 30, 35 window coupe. Automatic on a column, two pedal rod. And a Mustang, huh? Look at this. Nice, huh? What do you think? Awesome. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah, that's a yes. Yeah. Look at the 64 Biscayne. It's a biscuit. Four door lowered. Nine passenger. Rear seat facing out the back window. Look at that. Small block 283 probably in it, huh? What do you think? Yeah. We all go to Vegas in this one, right? I got dibs on that back seat. I want to see what I'm missing. Or see what I passed, rather. Huh? Look at this. Air ride. We'll raise it right up. Cool. If it's 369. Yep. And if nine guys chip in, it makes that $4 gas per gallon a little cheaper, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. A couple of Chevy pick em up trucks. Oh, look back at this Mustang here. Kind of the sun was coming over the building, bleaching out the, the colors. Some might say, hmm, only Buicks have these. But RMT engineered motor has it. Don't a derelict represent. Look at that, huh? Again, one, two pedals. That's nice. Look at this. There's a bed on that. Dialed in real good. Looks like there's a bed on this. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice trucks. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look at this. Oldsmobile. I want to call it a Chevy all the time, but it is an Oldsmobile. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a 37. Yeah. Bucket seats, it's a late model steering column. Fish dinner in the hall is ready. Fish dinner in the hall. Win and help yourself. Smells yeah, I'm going to see Dan will run over there real quick for a fish dinner. <laughs> uh, I don't do anything that swims. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? I got a third brake light put up there. It's nice. Man, they are my most favorite Chevy Malibu SS. Just like it's coming on the showroom floor. White wall tires, SS hubcaps. Automatic console. Original gauges. Bucket seats. Look at this. It's flawless. It is flawless. 64. And then we got the 283 cubic inch V8. Yep. It says, this is my favorite Malibu. I'm looking at a bird here, huh? A T bird. Check out the steering wheel. Sways to the side so you can get out easy. That's nice, huh? Two bucket seats and a tonneau cover over the back. And it's a 61. <laughs> Yeah. Thunderbird motor. I know my mom and dad had to work on it several times to get it right. I love your wagon. Thank you. 70 Torino. A Challenger. Drop top. Tops up. Yeah, how sweet that is. I believe that might be just a. 318 could be a 383 but I think it's a 318 and of course Jeep Liberty is in the house the Camaro SS ah, look at this who is this Wow, look at this GMC truck. Still got the Maroni on it. 
That's 24,000. 1987. Now it'll probably double that. GMC truck. And we got a Tiger. Sunbeam Tiger. First I'm seeing this at the show. Look at that. It's a 289. 289 small block V8. Sitting in this car without any weight to it. And we're pulling gears, pushing pedals. A real hot rod import. These things would do 130 miles an hour. Look we're pulling in with a Hudson. So how about that? H power. Yeah. 289. My brother's friend named Barry Twilliger, he had one. And we were cruising on a two lane road. We had the top down. And I was nestled in right back there. And we got that thing up to 130. Whew. Sunbeam Tiger. Duster 55, pull it there. Little JNA work truck with a cab on it, pretty cool. And I got the Merc again. Saw this rolled in, open up a show with this Merc. Yeah, it's flawless, beautiful. Mild cherry color, looks like it's got a Chevy or Corvette steering wheel to it. How cool is that? Then we got a Heritage High Roof HHR. This was molded after the 49 Chevy Suburban. I'm gonna stop making them. Got a Ford Escape. We got a 40 Ford. But look at that old guy right there. JNA. 1955 or 1935, 1948 restoration shop. <laughs> How cool. A mole motor. Straight six owner. One barrel carburetor. Three on the fly, three on the tree. Yeah, that's cool. Ford V8 and 40 Ford. SCTA, that stands for Southern California Timing Association. Yeah. Rex's truck over there, too. Make sure you highlight his bumpers. Got new bumpers in there. Oh, okay. All custom. Oh, really? All right. We have three on the tree. We have 56 pull in. Let head forward. Look at that continental kit on that. Wire wheels, wide whites. Yeah, we got the Hokey Hokey Mercury here. Look at this. I think it's a 56. Oh, 55. Look at this lady T, huh? That's pretty cool. You know what that is on the steering wheel right there? Back in the day when all these cars didn't have power steering, we had that on, it was easier to crank the steering wheel around. To steer and drive, especially when you're parking. I forget what it was called, but yeah. When I was a kid, my dad had Hudson's. You don't see Hudson's too much. He's got a few of them. This is uh, H-Power Hudson. It's uh, H-Power, it was real fast. It was ahead of its time. And used to win a lot of NASCAR races. Be careful, don't wreck the wheelchair. Oh, I know. Hey, guys, how's it going? How are you? We got a 61 Galaxy Black Plate California Galaxy. That'd be a Starliner, because it's a coupe. Two door coupe, or two door hardtop, rather. But look at that, it got red, white guts. Yeah. Wow. The hot rod too, three pedals, three on the tree. Look at that. And the real hot rods don't have cup holders, but see that wasn't made with cup holders. That's an after aftermarket. And it's got a case of Coca-Cola in the back. Got my <laughs> my suds right there. How about that? Look at that. You got three, two, four barrels on it. Ooh, this has got some HP to it. Starliner 61. Wow. Then next to, whoa, look at this Galaxy 500 XL. That's about a 63.4. That's a 427. That's the biggest block you could get back then. American Racing Mags. Look at this, it's got the twin four barrels on it also. 
So look at on the valve covers. 427. Wow. Rare, rare, rare. And it has a whole book on it. The Quest for a Galaxy, far, far away. 427. American Racing Mags. Red buckets, red interior. They weren't doing leather then, they were all vinyl. But check it out, real hot rod. Push your pedals, pulling gears, four of them. Got a console, AM radio, tachometer on the dash. That's how we rolled back then. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Whoa, the hits keep coming. Look at it, we got this Cobra right here. I think this might be a 429 too. Window louvers. Oh yeah, I got a Hurst T-Bar, real hot rod, pushing pedals, pulling gears, power disc brake. Look at that. Tachometer on the hood. Whoa. I don't know how gear's going to pick them. Look at that, that 429 Cobra Jet motor. Look at that. That's got some giddy up. It's got the GT wheels on it. Wow, huh? That is a, lot, a whole lot of horsepower right there. 429 Cobra Jet. Dang. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> got a 64 Chevy. Got another 32 back there. Got a 68 Chevelle. Look at that. Automatic on the comm, bench seat. Then we got this Pinto. <laughs> How about that? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got this nice 3100 Chevy truck. Got nice wheels. I think it's about a 54, I'm thinking. Very nice. Very nice. How about that? Let's go check out the, the bumper's been kind of pulled in. Let's go check it out right here. Yeah. Wow. That's how you pull them in. Pull in so tight, no gap. And the plate on that is a low C10. How about that? 62 Chevy Impala SS. Looks like this wheel's leaning out a little bit. Well, maybe it's just the way it's parked. It was, it, was, it was looking like your wheel was hanging out a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it, huh? Yeah, huh? They're, they're both that way. Yeah, say hey to Mitch up in Washington. Hi, Mitch in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. These are, these are the, the known hooligans. And Mitch is saying, hey, shout out. Say hey to Mitch, hey, all you guys. Mitch. Yeah, huh? Get your car and drive it. Yeah. Show you a picture of his car. All right. It, you know, it is a Chevy, and it's pretty bad about it. All right. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Looks like you got like 44 lights in it. Uh, it's a Chevy, but it doesn't know it's a Chevy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it could be a Ford. Yeah. Could be, huh? Yeah. Screw <laughs> <laughs> <It's your> winning. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. There's Lady. T yeah, it's beautiful, huh? There's Lady T. She's hanging out with Dano. We're here at Gary's Classic Car Show, and that was your walkthrough. We'll be back maybe for more later, definitely for the trophies and the uh, raffle. So we get the 62 pulling out. We'll close and let the follow this out. Stock 62. Pallet SS, red guts, rear seat speaker, automatic. There you have it.